Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. My name is Habiba and today we are going to be doing a plant tour. So I haven't shown you all of our indoor plants and I thought this would be a good time to do that. You guys seem to have enjoyed my last hair video, but I thought I would switch it up a little bit and just show you something different. So let's do plants today. Something relaxing and beautiful and I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you hit that subscribe button if you like home decor if you like food family and just a lot of positivity because that's what we do on this channel so we're gonna start indoors and then we'll come back outside okay so let's go let's set the mood for you So behind me is the family room. You walk past the formal living room and formal dining room, past the stairs, and we have the family room. This is where most of our plants are kept. So this is where we spend most of our time in this space. And I'm just gonna show you our plants. So I think the first plant you'll probably be drawn to or the first plant you would see when you look straight ahead from the front door is this little beauty here. This uh, plant is our uh, bird of paradise, bird of paradise, and uh, he is beautiful. See how large he is? Very beautiful, very tall. I've had this for almost two years, this plant in particular. And every house we've lived, we probably owned a bird of paradise. I think this is an easy plant to take care of because she doesn't need too much light. So she does really well right next to this window with these Carolina shutters, um, which open and close really nicely. These are wooden shutters, very typical in the South. And they also open up wide, like so. And out there is our deck. All right, let's be careful with her, let's be careful. So yeah, I love her. If you want a little bit of drama in your space, put this plant on something elevated and it's like, voila, you're in a tropical paradise or you went on vacation. So I've got you oriented towards the fireplace. And the first thing I wanted you to see are these flowers, these beautiful flowers. So this is kind of a, you know, hack because if you don't have flowers, or you didn't go to the supermarket or can't get to a supermarket or can't afford to buy fresh flowers, go outside. Just go outside and find a pretty shrub. Hopefully you have some in your you know, neighborhood or outdoors. We happen to have a shrub right outside, okay? Um, this is actually a tall plant and I just cut some and put them here because I just think it is lovely. Uh, I cannot have people in my house without flowers. And since you're here, you deserve flowers. So that's what this is. So it doesn't really count as, quote, a plant, but it is a living plant or part of a plant and she deserved to be showcased. Okay, up here is the same thing. Up here on this fireplace, this is actually also some shrubbery that I just cut and put in a vase. I just think it's really crucial to have life in a room. I think that makes the room come alive when you have some green in it. So you don't have to have flowers. Again, you can get some shrubs outside and uh, just put it in a vase of water and there you go. Voila, instant plant. So I had to show you what the uh, stems look like or what the branches look like so that you can see I really did cut this recently. So look. This is one of the branches. Whoops. This is one of the branches that I got today, right? Just look at the base. You could just see, right? It does not look like something that would grow at all. It just looks like a branch that I stuck in here. So that was today. But let me show you a branch that I have in here that I put in about three weeks ago. So this branch. Amazing has grown roots. Isn't that amazing? Like I never expected this plant or a branch 
from a big tree to just grow roots. It's so beautiful. It's funny, the way I think of it is, well, this is a line from Jurassic Park. Nature always finds a way, right? Nature always finds a way. So yeah, same plant. I just think that's amazing. Okay, she's going back in. Over here, this is a plant from Kenton. <laughs> well, actually all of them are from Kenton, right? But specifically, why is this one of any importance um, to us? Uh, well, this was used to sit on my desk where I had a place to work. <laughs> and then COVID came and then I don't have a desk anymore. Mm -hmm. so, well, I have a desk, but I don't sit at it. So, right. So, so tell me about it. So well, no, it's, it's just a, a South uh, Asian, um, I believe it's Indonesian um, money plant, they call it. Right. So, Indonesian or Chinese? No, Indonesian. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I believe it's Indonesian. I could be wrong, but hey, folks, if you know better, I have absolutely no idea of origins <laughs> of plants. I, I have a very rudimentary Mm. Uh, you know, so uh, uh, you know. There's Did you that, grow up uh, with plants? Well, what kind of plants? Are you I don't know. What kind of plants are you talking I about? I mean, in the neighborhood I grew up in, yeah, we had herbs. <laughs> really? Did you really have herbs? Yeah, we had all kinds of herbs. Mm. But I grew up in, um, you know, California. Yeah, California, but in the valley, and so you know, we had a lot of different herb gardens. But these are tough plants. Uh, you know, right, they, I like the braided, the, the braided uh, base yeah. of it or the yeah. trunk. Yeah, they, 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 they grow uh, uh, naturally very tall. We have actually a bigger one over here. Right. Yeah, All right, nice. let's show you the bigger one. All right, so we're in the dining room. The lighting here is not that great right now because we're facing the window. Uh, but it's actually quite bright. It just looks like it's not super bright. Anyway, here's the second one. This is the larger one. This one, right? This one's uh, we've had it at the house, and, you know. So um, it's good. Uh, it's a shade plant, so it's really you know if you put it out to yeah. dry heat, it's not. Too I put it outside for a while, yeah. thinking it wasn't getting enough light, and the leaves kind of burnt. Yeah. So I brought it back inside, and well, here it looks okay. Yeah, because again, these are plants that are new to a jungle. So, mm -hmm. you know, with overgrowth. So yeah. So, yeah, so they're more of a shade, shade plant. And it's, and it's growing. You see, it has mm -hmm. new shoots coming out. That's the other thing, too. Uh, you know, you want plants that have shoots coming out. So this one actually, it's a new growth. Right. So. <laughs> this is sage, y'all. Not the herbs. This is sage. You gotta bless the space. Bless the space. <laughs> All right, let me put it back. Stop playing, Habiba, stop playing. Now let's show you this corner. I also have this pothos. Pothos? Am I saying it correctly? Pothos? Anyway, it is one of the most uh, common household plants you can find. You cannot hurt this plant. I mean, unless you never water it. You really can't hurt this plant. This plant is so easy to take care of. Just water it, it needs very little light. And the great thing about pothos plants are that you can propagate them. Meaning that if you cut a piece off and you put it in a glass of water, it will grow and then you have a second plant. So if you're afraid of plants or are worried that you can't take care of them, this is definitely a plant I would suggest you start off with because it's so easy. Besides succulents, I think this is probably one of the easiest plants to take care of. Hey folks, I'm back again. Uh, I was on my way to... <laughs> I got invited back, but anyways. He got invited back because I thought he was doing such a good job, right? Uh, uh, so anyway, I wanted him to share this plant with us. Well, so the story behind this is that uh, this is a decorative bowl. It, I use it as a fish bowl. This actually, I had work as well on my desk. So this piece was, uh, was uh, basically like driftwood, but it has this bowl molded onto it. And also to give it a nice, I, actually I stained it first and then I, I sealed it so to give it a more richer tone. And then I used this as a fish bowl 
um, for a, a betta fish. Um, and also, and I have a snail in here, which is Walter. But <laughs> my, 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 uh, my buddy, he, uh, and then I had it at work. And then I put a little bamboo right. plant in so there, which has grown. It actually it's was really it quite had, tall. Yeah, it started about this high, and now it's kind of grown. And so it creates this nice environment. The roots yeah. look pretty amazing, yeah. pretty clean. Yeah, and so yeah, the, the plant helps to uh, uh, purify, and I also have uh, little algae balls. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I see Yeah, them. they're in the back, and so they also help uh, purify the water as well. And so, and Walter's been around for a while too. And bamboo is really tough. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you plant this in the ground, it will take off. So in general, if you're if you're renting and you, it's not your house, you might want to make sure bamboo is in a pot or somewhere concrete that where it can't spread. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, I didn't realize how well bamboo can grow in just water without any dirt. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yeah, you can take, you can just, all you do is you can take just a straight bamboo and then you can uh, right. drop it in and it'll, it'll, it'll shoot up and grow. So, Lovely. And with that, <laughs> I'll see you folks later. Off of the kitchen is the breakfast area. And this is where I keep a lot of plants. So this first plant you see in the breakfast room is this giant peace lily. And this plant uh, Kenton bought in our last house or the last house we rented. So this is the last plant we bought in that last house we lived. So each plant, you know, has a story. And uh, we had this in the foyer area and she's doing beautifully over here. So I love a good peace lily because they're very elegant. You know, any space you put them will look really nice if you want a little bit of elegance or formality. And uh, yeah, they've got these giant dark green leaves and I love the lines or the serrations on them. And I want you to see that I have it on this little stand that has wheels. That way I can move it to different plant parts of the house. And you know this plant is doing well because it's flowering, see? It's already got a nice giant flower. But I wanted you to see that it is on a stand that has wheels on it and so I can kind of scoot it away um, or put it wherever I want around the house. But this one does not move. This is a more formal stand which you can get at um, an oriental type store. Right above the peace lily is this giant ball of plant that I do not know what it's called. This is the plant that Kenton bought for me. We were uh, driving and every time we would drive by this outdoor plant place, I would ask him for it. So he got me this and one that's outside. Um, the one that was outside was actually straight across. You see the hanging uh, hook that we put up there. So there were two plants, that, this one, and one I'll show you outside. But I didn't think that one was getting enough light, so we put it outside. But these little hanging hooks, you can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're really easy to install and they really leave minimum damage on the wall. But yeah, let me know, comment below if you know what this plant is. Um, it's got these really beautiful, shiny, kind of roundish leaves. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think this is. I really don't know what it is, but I can tell it's the type of plant also that if you break it and put it in water, it will root. The thing about hanging plants is they just also elevate a place. So I like feeling like I'm surrounded by plants. So since we spend so much time in this space, I just wanted to feel like I had plants all around me. It just, I don't know, it just gives me that kind of garden cafe feeling. On this dining table, which we've had for years, is the oldest plant we own, this bonsai. So yes, this is the oldest plant that we own here. And sometimes I have it outside because it really grows. It grows super fast when I have it outside. And then for most of the year, I have it indoors. So I might have it here on the dining table, 
um, or a family dining table, eat-in dining table this area is, or I'll have it in the formal living room. But it is so adorable. Let me bring her a little closer. Hopefully this is focused. Can you see the little birdie on here? Now this is a little craft bird that I put on here. It's been on here for years. See that? Super cute. And this is a um, bonsai ficus. So this is originally a ficus plant that has been turned into a bonsai plant. You can see the roots on top or the you know huge trunks. Um, and this, these stones on here are actually glued on. That's how we bought it. Uh, when people see this plant and I tell them that it's, you know, old, they think it's fake, but it's real because these leaves do fall off and then they grow back every spring. So I put it in this plant, I mean, in this pot. Uh, this is actually probably a rice bowl or a cereal bowl, if you will, this oatmeal colored ceramic uh, Japanese pot. I bought this at a thrift shop and I just thought it would be perfect for the plant because this is the original container. Um, not the prettiest, but you can see the roots and I put it in here and it's perfect. And over here on this side of this bay window, um, we have two fiddle fig plants. So this first fiddle fig plant, which I have slightly elevated, but it is also pretty tall. Right, I love these giant, giant leaves. I mean, look at my hand and look how big these leaves are. So they're doing really well. So facing the kitchen, I have this uh, bookcase turned china cabinet, ch uh, turned whatever I feel like, things that are pretty. And I will go through the shelves one of these days and show you what's on each of them and what it means to me and all of that. But on the top, I want you to see that I have a lot of little plants that I propagate. So let's show you this first one. So this is one of those pothos. I just took a few branches and put it in a glass jar. This is actually a spaghetti jar. So honestly, people who say they don't have room for plants or they don't, you know, just don't have the space, Hey, a little spaghetti jar can grow a plant. And look at the beautiful roots. Can you see the roots? So this has been in here for a while and she's doing fine. Of course, if it were in dirt, the leaves would be a lot larger, but I'm not mad at this. This is not bad. You can still see it's got some color variation on the leaves, which is nice. And then over here, I have this one that I like. These are actually two plants that I have in here. And it looks a little kind of wild looking, but that's okay. Let's put it on here so you can see better. Um, this is a plant that I have outside. I just wanted to see if it would propagate and it does. Um, you can see here are the roots right there. So whenever you see a fleshy looking plant, you know, that looks like it retains a lot of water, chances are just breaking a piece of it um, and putting it in a glass of water, it will propagate. These have propagated really well, and eventually I might put them in a pot, a separate pot. So I like that hanging up here. Kind of drapes down, cascades down this piece of furniture. On the base of the windows, I like to also put plants. So most of them are outside, but I do have one here. This is an orchid, and sometimes she sits outside, and I've also had this a couple of years. I actually had this in an apartment, I think, in South Carolina, perhaps. Anyway, one of my places where I was working, Kenton brought me a plant, and orchids are also kind of not too difficult to take care of. You just need to buy orchid food. You need to make sure there is a lot of humidity and that they don't have direct sunlight. Um, and if you take care of them, they will flower every year. Now, a lot of these plants you have seen before, but I'll just show you the ones that are intended for indoor or as indoor plants. So when you come out of the door from the kitchen area, this is what you see, our deck. 
and uh, I can't show you all our plants that would take too long but I'm gonna show you some of the plants that were indoor intended for indoor use that I have brought outside here so so this is one of my favorite spots over here with this little table and of course you knew I could not have a video and not show you my little girls so I just wanted to show you this plant we'll talk about the little girls in a minute but um this is a miniature rose and this is an indoor plant this is a miniature rose that Kenton got for me and I just put it in this clay pot it came like this and you've seen these in the supermarket right super cute but I thought it would do a lot better if it were outside in the humidity and then later when I can't have it outdoor, I'll bring it inside. These are all indoor plants too. They love the humidity. Look at these nice fleshy leaves. And these are about two different orchids in here. I love this one. This one was from Kenton's job and it's so cute and I, I put it in this nice little pot and the thing about orchids is that they don't need really dirt as long as they have something to attach to so look at the roots they pretty much you could hang this anywhere and it would continue to grow as long as it's got moisture and a little bit of you know um, sun exposure not direct sun I also have this fern which I have had now for a little over a year. I think I've showed you this multiple times. This was a gift from um, some of my previous co-workers. Okay, so let me show you the girls because we just have to. Just let me indulge, okay? Or indulge you. But do you like these little overalls I made her? She's my little country girl little country girl she loves the garden she's from the south she loves her fried chicken and mac and cheese and yeah she just loves the outdoors she's not really one for a pretty dress although she does have a pretty dress but uh, she would just rather be outdoors what's her eyes looking like okay let's open them up for you a little wider so who I really wanted you to see, even though I have a little Instagram video coming later. By the way, you need to follow me on Instagram. Why are you not following me on Instagram, eh? <laughs> There's a link in the description box. Follow me on Instagram if you like watching or seeing pictures of food and dolls and my hair and you know mini clips of videos so usually I will post on, in, uh, on Instagram before I post on YouTube certain things. So anyway, let me show you little Miss Ayodele. She has a new dress. Oh my goodness, isn't her dress so cute? Look, I made her a um, kente cloth, kente cloth or kente fabric dress with a head wrap. You see her, isn't she adorable? Of course, you may have seen her beaded braid wig uh, in a previous video but look at her dress it's so cute hey y'all by the way for those who don't know who Ayodele is her father is Nigerian and her mother is from Ghana and her mom bought her this uh, Ghanaian outfit so hey <laughs> So I wanted you to see the other plant that I told you that was hanging inside that I brought outside because I thought it would do better outside this here plant this one this one I also don't know the name of this plant so again if you know the name of this plant please let me know in the comment section it's very pretty I love their shiny shiny leaves on this plant it just reminds me of fabric for some reason So yeah, the rest of these plants are all outdoor plants. These are not indoor plants at all. These are caladiums, so. Big bushy caladiums. This is a uh, Scarlet's Flame Caladium. It's got the red, reddish pink. This is another peace lily, which I have over here. She was struggling, so I put her outside. On 
this outdoor table I have a couple of plants that are indoor plants that I put out here um, because they're also getting a, real, a little bit of rehabilitation so this is a bromeliad and I had this in the bathroom it loves the moisture of the bathroom but because I also use a lot of powder black people you know what I mean right we use a lot of powder so a lot of powder was getting on the leaves and what happens is then it doesn't get an opportunity to breathe properly so I had to bring it in and uh, or bring it downstairs and rinse off the leaves so anyway I think she's gonna do better outside for a few days and uh, I might take it back inside okay over here we have the Monstera and I don't think this Monstera is doing as well as it could be doing it's about to bite me <laughs> it's not doing as well as it could be doing but so I decided to bring it outside hopefully it'll do better so here are one of the older leaves and as you can see in the center here is a right there new leaf coming through Ooh. okay but this is how I knew it wasn't doing too well inside I don't know that's not a good look this is not a good look and I know every plant has a leaf that's going to die but it should not look like this okay that's a healthy leaf right here not so good right here see that so I don't know I'm hoping bringing it outside under an umbrella will do it well oh let's show you my banana plants this is definitely not an indoor plant this is an outdoor plant but I'm really curious to see how big it will grow because here in North Carolina it snows and bananas are intended for tropical countries where it does not snow so how we get away with it is the fact that we bring it indoors cover it and bring it indoors during the winter and then bring it back out so here's a bigger banana plant here and this one we've also had for about two years <laughs> I think it's a dwarf banana but it's not doing too bad it's actually doing pretty well see that before I let you go I gotta show you our cucumbers I'm about to pick a cucumber for the first time out of the garden Woo! what is that on top of the lens right now is a giant what I think is a dragonfly I cannot show it to you because it's actually sitting on the lens okay okay focus we're gonna go pick some cucumbers Okay, this cucumber over here might actually be overdone. See how it started to yellow? But let's put that here. But let me show you a really nice one. Really nice one. It's so funny how they camouflage, you know? Oh, look at a little teeny one right here. Do you see that? Look at that. That's cute. But we're not going to pick that. Nope. Oh, here's the one we're going to pick right here. Right here. See? I think that's pretty good. Can have that with dinner today. And over here is a cute little watermelon in the making. Look at that. I have a tomato over here. I don't know if it's done, but I think it might be done. Yes, it's done. It is ripe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and we look forward to your comments. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and we will come back soon with more family, food, garden, and decor videos. We will see you soon. Bye.